Today in China's Guangguan Jie, need some Earl Grey tea. It's Singles Day, so today we've got something very special for all those singletons out there. Yeah, Singles Day. All right, it's become a bit of a commercial thing whereby single people are given another excuse to spend themselves stupid, and it's only in China. But this is a good excuse to do a video. But anyway, 11th of November, Singles Day. So we're going to do something which involves getting some single people and duplicating them. And by duplicating, I don't mean some kind of dolly the sheep cloning of myself. That would be a bit sick. We're just going to use Photoshop. But first of all, we need to take multiple images. Me. Now, it's been done many times before, but recently I checked out this work from this Japanese artist, and we'll just do a voiceover right here with some images of his work. Daisuke Takakura's monodramatic project is a series of photos that depict a surreal world filled with what appears to be a bunch of doppelgangers, creating a somewhat monotonous yet colourful world at the same time. Now what the bloody hell do I know about art? The images show loads of people doing different things alright, and that's what we're going to do. Yes, lovely. So that's what I'm going to try today. Step 1. Get some bloody gear. Ok, so what do you need for this? A camera. Any old shit. Hence why I got the Sony A7R2. Tripod. That is it. And a lens, obviously. Otherwise everything's going to be all white. Alright. Yes. Top tip for this. Bring batteries. 1% battery. One thing I hate about the Sony A7 cameras is that battery goes in both ways. Step two, setting up your bloody gear. Now the key thing is, is to have the same kind of light for each shot you take, because all those photos are going to be compiled into one, and it makes it easier if the light is the same. And another thing, put everything to manual. So you want the lens on manual focus, so you're guaranteed that the focus point will be the same in each of the shots, so when you put it all together it won't be all over the place. Then you've got the exposure on manual, so that it's the same every time. And if you're doing you, if you're doing yourself, which you probably are if you're single, in more ways than one, self-timer. Step three, taking the photographs. Now it helps to think about where you're gonna be in each of the shots and if you're going to be interacting with the other selves. And let me explain something else. The reason why it's so that it's quite obviously me, not somebody else with a denim jacket. Chinese, maybe. Glasses and hat. You can see the problem when flicking through the images there. The light changes, even though you might not notice it. When you combine them together, there's one person that ends up looking a little brighter than the others, which doesn't quite work. And because we're great adventurers, we like travelling and we like moving, we like hiking and going to all these different places, I'm just going to go over there. So when you've got your shot framed up, you can think about where you're going to be on the frame and make sure there's no... well, you can have overlapping. If you check out Takakura's work, you can notice that he most likely used the geometry of the pavements and the steps to work out where the subject will stand in each frame, using lines or numbers of steps to work out how far each one should be spaced apart. You don't have to do it alone, you can find another man to help you if you like. We've got a fan! It's in Norwich, of all yeah. places. And I've persuaded him to be my model. So, uh, you know what we're doing. I don't know. I'd just like to clarify that his name is not Fan. He's a fan of the show. His name's Bobby. You will find that it's much easier being behind the camera directing someone else to do the modelling. Yes. 
It's going to be like a boy band poster. Okay. Uh, we'll send it. And all you have to do is give us £100. <laughs> Yep, yeah, you could charge somebody for your work, but I decided to give all the finished clone images to Bobby for nothing. The only thing I wanted in return is that I wanted him to do some things no. in the back alley for me, as well as doing some yeah. more poses. Oh, make sure you're not using auto white balance also. It's a bit annoying to correct them all and get them to match afterwards. As I was saying earlier about geometry and shit, you can use things in the scene that are already spaced apart as a guide for where to position your subject. Great. And then this, this window as well. You, <laughs> All right, enough of that. It's singles day, so time to be alone. Well, you can try with playing with different poses for each person. What am I saying? It's all me to make it look a bit more different, a bit more dramatic. Zombie attack. Where do they come from? Oh, no. Oh, no. How am I going to take a shot now? You can see how many people there. Yeah, so the perfect place to come for this kind of photography is a tourist hotspot. So, 30 minutes later. Um, yes, but it helps to be decisive also. The photoshopping bit is really easy. The toughest part is paying Adobe for their software. Unless you got it pirated, of course. Put all your layers in and make sure they align perfectly. You really don't need anything complex. It's just a matter of removing the bits surrounding the clone person. Sometimes the light will be slightly different. Tweak it a bit to match as close as possible and or remove the surrounding background with an eraser tool. Really basic stuff. There you go, something for Singles Day. In fact, I don't know why I keep saying it's Singles Day. You're watching this on the 17th of November. Or maybe the day after. Actually, maybe you're watching this on the 11th of November next year. Anyway, whatever, there you go. It might be a bit sad doing it all alone, and it's easier when you get someone else to do the posing, but it's actually quite a laugh when you're photographing yourself many times over. It is a more creative way to do selfies.